the session of part 2 unit 7 decimals is continued in this video with the concepts ordering decimals and application in real life the next concept for today's session is ordering decimals ordering decimals means writing in ascending or descending order or arranging the numbers decimal numbers in ascending or descending order you all know ascending order means arranging from smallest to biggest descending order means arranging from biggest to smallest exercise 7e question number 1 rewrite in descending order so to order the decimals you have to follow two steps first step is to convert into like decimals the second step is to write in descending order to write in descending order you certainly have to follow the steps which we used in comparing decimals too question a 8.06 8.059 8.013 8.3 8 now let us check whether these four decimals are like or unlike we can say that these four are unlike decimals because we have two numbers which have three decimal places and the other two in one we have two decimal places in the other we have one uh, one decimal place so first let us convert this into like decimals now we have to convert these numbers into the highest number of decimal places so 8.06 has to be written as 8.060 8.059 is written as it is as it has three decimal places and the next number 8.013 is written as it is because it also has the has the highest number of decimal place the last number 8.3 is written as 8.300 we have added two zeros to make this decimal number the decimal part up to three decimal places now let us arrange in descending order first we have to select the number which is the biggest among these four so for that we have to compare to compare we have we will start from the whole number part in whole numbers we have whole number part we have 8 here in the second number also there are 8 holes the third number has 8 holes and the last number also has 8 holes so we move on to the decimal part and we start comparing from the tens place of each decimal number in the first decimal number we have zero tens the second number also has zero tens the third number has zero tens as well but the last decimal number has three tens so we can say that 8.300 will be written first the next now we have to compare the go to the next place that is hundreds place of these three decimal numbers and check which is the which decimal number has highest number of hundreds in it so we have in the first number we have 6 hundreds second number has 5 hundreds and the third number has 1 hundreds so obviously 6 hundreds are bigger than 5 hundreds and 1 hundreds so 8.060 is the second number now the third number will be 5 hundreds the number which has 5 hundreds in it so 8.059 will be the next number and the last will be 8.013 so this is how we order the decimal numbers following these steps question b 3.48 4.2 3.8 4.02 now we have to convert these decimals as like decimals as the first and the last number has decimal number has two decimal places in it we have to convert or change 4.2 and 3.8 as the number which will have two decimal places so that can be done by adding zeros to it so 3.48 is written as it is 4.2 has in that we have added one zero and we have made this number up to two decimal places the third number 3.8 is written as 3.80 then the last number 4.02 is written as it is now we will start comparing to order the decimals according to descending order we have to select which is the biggest decimal number in this so let us see the whole number part the first number has three holes and second number has four in the as the whole number part 
the third number also has three holes the last number has four hole in holes in it now we have to see that four the whole number part which has four holes is bigger than three holes so first we will select four the decimal number which has four holes in it but we have two numbers which have a four in the whole number part so we move on to the decimal part of these two numbers in the decimal part we start comparing from the tens place here we have two tens in the last number we have zero tens so we can say that 4.20 the number which has two tens is bigger 4.20 will come first and next the decimal number which has four holes but zero tens will come next now we will compare the numbers two decimal numbers which have three holes in it three holes in these two first and the second third number now we move on to the decimal part the decimal part has four tens here and in this we have eight tens so eight tens are bigger than four tens so we write 3.80 in the third place and 3.48 will be written in the fourth place so this is how we order the decimals in according to descending order again we are going to learn ordering decimals but in this slide we will learn to order decimals in ascending order to write the decimals in ascending order for that you have to follow the same steps which i had told in the previous slide step 1 is to convert like into like decimals the second step is to write in ascending order so there we learn the second step we have to write in descending order here since we are asked to write in ascending order the second step is we have to write in ascending order question a 0.04 1.04 0.14 and 1.14 now we have to check whether these are like decimals yes we can see that all four decimal numbers have two decimal places each so they are like decimals now stra straight away we can go to the second step we will write in ascending order so ascending order means you all know it is we have to write from smallest to biggest number we have to write the smallest number and then keep increasing till we reach the biggest number in this among these four numbers first we will compare to select which is the biggest or smallest number we have to compare so here we have to select the smallest number so first we will compare the whole number part the whole number part the first number has 0 the second number has 1 the third number has 0 in the whole number part and the fourth number has 1 in the whole number part so now by looking at these numbers we can see say that the number which has 0 in the whole number part is small so we have to select the number which is smallest among the two numbers which have zero in the whole number part so we have to compare the decimal part we move on to the decimal part starting from tens place in tens place we have first number zero tens the third number has one ten so zero tens are smaller than one tens we will write 0.04 in the first place automatically the second number will be 0.14 now we will compare the numbers which have one in the whole number part so for that we have to move on to the decimal part we move on to the decimal part in decimal part we have zero tens in the second number in the last number we have one tens so the number which has zero tens is smaller so we write the third number as 1.04 and the fourth number will be 1.14 so this is how we arrange in ascending order from smallest to the biggest number second question 20 19.09 20.01 19.9 all four decimal numbers are not like decimals two numbers have two decimal places in them 
but the other two numbers among those two numbers one number has no decimal part at all and the last number has one decimal place so we have to convert these as like decimals so for that we have to make the other two numbers the first and the last up to two decimal places so 20 is written as 20.00 it has become a decimal number with two decimal place places the second number is written as it is 19.09 .09. the third number is 20.01 and the last number 19.9 .9, we add a zero so that it becomes like decimals now we will compare the numbers and arrange from smallest to biggest the first number will be we have to compare the whole number part so here we have 20 in the whole number part the second number has 19 the third number has 20 and the fourth number has 19 so we can say that the number which have the or the numbers which have 19 in the whole number part will be smaller so now among these two numbers which have 19 in the whole number part which is the smallest so to decide that we have to compare the decimal part in the decimal part we can find zero tenths and in the last number there are nine tenths so since we have to arrange in ascending order we have to select the smallest number so the second number 19.09 will be the smallest and we will write it first the next will be 19.90 now we have to compare the two decimal numbers which have 20 in the whole number part so 20 now we move on to the decimal part in decimal part there are zero tenths here also zero tenths we move on to the hundreds place zero hundredth but here there are there is one hundredth in this number so what do we do we write the number which has zero in the tenths place and zero in the hundredths place as the third number 0, 0.00 this decimal number will be written in the third place now the next last number will be 0, 0.01 so this is how we have arranged in ascending order by comparing the whole number part as well as the decimal part now let's move on to third question question f from your exercise 7e 7.162 7.23 7.02 7.2 we have to convert these as like decimals because different numbers have different number of decimal places only the second and the third numbers have the same number of decimal places but we have to see the number which has the highest decimal place so the first number has three decimal places and so since three decimal places are the highest among these this group of decimal numbers we have to change the other three numbers also up to three decimal places so this can be done by adding the number of zeros as required so we write 7.162 as it is the second number is is written by adding a zero 7.230 now the third number 7.02 is written as 7.020 and the fourth number is written as 7.200 now let us compare and order them from smallest to biggest so for the smallest number we have to select among these four decimal numbers the first we have to compare the whole number part all four numbers have the same number in the whole number part that is seven so we move on to the decimal part in decimal part the first number has one tenths the second number has two tenths the third number has zero tenths and the last number has two tenths so the number which has zero tenths is the smallest we write that first 7.020 will be the first number will be the smallest number in this group the next will be the number which has one tenth so 7.162 now to decide which will be third in the third place and in the fourth place we have to compare the second number and the last number here we have two tens here also we have two tens so we move on to the hundreds place in hundreds place we have three hundreds in the second decimal number but the last number decimal number has zero hundreds so the number which has zero hundreds is smaller than the number which has three hundreds in it so we will write this number which is remaining as the last number so this is how we arrange in ascending order that is from smallest to biggest decimal number
एक्सरसाइज सेवन ई क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एप्लीकेशन इन रियल लाइफ शनाई कैन स्विम द हंड्रेड मीटर रेस इन सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट वन सेकेंड्स स्वप्निल कैन स्विम द सेम डिस्टेंस इन सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट जीरो टू सेकेंड्स हु इज फास्टर नाउ लेट इज फाइंड द सोल्यूशन एंड कम टू अ कंक्लूशन हु इज फास्टर नाउ टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर first we have to compare the timings taken by the two boys comparing 68.1 seconds and 68.2 seconds 68.1 seconds is taken by shanai and swapnil has taken 68.02 seconds now to compare two decimal numbers first we have to convert them as like decimals to convert into like decimals we have to add a zero with 68.1 After one tenths, we have to add a zero. Now, comparing these two decimal numbers, sixty-eight, the whole number parts are the same. In the decimal part, it is one tenth in Shanai's timing, but in Swapnil's timing, there are zero tenths. So we can say that sixty-eight point one zero is greater than sixty-eight point zero two. It means. Shanai took more time than Swapnil. Now, always in races, the person who takes less time will reach the finishing line soon. He will be the first person to reach the finishing line compared to the other people in the race. So, the person who takes less time is faster. Now, Swapnil took less time, so Swapnil is faster. children this is your homework in textbook page number 109 exercise 7b question number 1 a to f and question number 2 a to i in notebook do these questions from page number 110 exercise 7e question number 1 c d e question number 2 c d e and question number 3 a and c children we come to the end of today's session decimals part 2 thank you children